If I was stranded on a desert island and I could only bring one makeup product, this product would be it. Hey guys, it's Madeline. Hey guys, it's Madeline. Ah! This is the third time I've shot this video. Every time something goes wrong, the first time the lighting was wrong, the second time I didn't turn my microphone on, and now this time my technical difficulty is this light in the background is... No, that was not planned. That's the switch right there. This light won't stop turning on! Anyway, hello, welcome to my channel. I am trying to stay serene during this Mercury in retrograde. Today we are going to be doing an updated makeup routine. I haven't done this in about a year. It's a very low maintenance routine. It typically takes me 10 to 15 minutes to do. All the products in this video are cruelty free, which is very exciting. So if you're new to the cruelty free world or if you're interested at all, this is a great way into that world. This truly is like my running to meetings look today. I have two meetings I have to do. I did my hair before I shot the video. I have 30 minutes until my meeting. <laughs> if you're curious as to how I achieved this look, Then keep on watching. Like this video and subscribe for my tenacity. Really, let's do it all for my tenacity, I'll wait. Anywho, let's just get into it, shall we? Before I start actually applying makeup, it's so important to me that my lips are moisturized. Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Kiss. Lip butter it is my absolute favorite. You will find these literally all over my house, in my car, in my purse. They go with me everywhere. I tend to not wear lipstick in my personal life, ironically, because I do wear it a lot in my work life. Uh, so this just keeps them nice and moisturized and plump throughout the day. At this point, I would typically tie my hair up. I just did it, and I can't find my clip that won't leave a kink, so we're gonna just go with it. I'm gonna start with sanitizing my hands. Typically would just wash my hands, but you were actually perfectly balanced on top of my sink right now because this is where the best lighting is. So we're gonna go with hand sanitizer. This is the basil scent from Mrs. Myers. So I have a disclaimer. It's gonna be hard for me to tell you this because I know a lot of you are gonna hate this, but I apply my CC cream with these fingers right here. I know, I know, I know. It can be considered disgusting. However, I did just sanitize my hands. I keep everything very clean. And I find when I'm going for a natural look, it just blends into my skin better. So if you're not a fan of that, then just close your eyes during this part or something. I like to go in with the Daily Correct CC Cream from Supergroup in the shade Fair Light. It's so light. And honestly, I only have a little bit of discoloration on my face that I need to cover. Like my nose is a little red and then I've got like this little mark right here. So for the most part, I just like to go in with this. I grab about that much. But it's SPF, it's very moisturizing. I do already have my skincare and my SPF on, but this is a great way to double up. I am by no means a professional makeup artist. So I'm not rubbing, I'm not pulling or tugging, I'm just gently massaging it into my skin like you would with a moisturizer. I find with CC creams, more so than regular foundations, using a brush or a beauty blender to apply is not as efficient and almost creates missing spots and coagulation on your face. So that's the base. Again, you can see it just barely covers those spots, but it's so nice on my skin and it feels good and it's not super heavy. And every day I do a different order and I do different products. These are my staple products that will always be in my makeup bag. So I'm gonna re-sanitize. So I am now going to take, it's funny, cause the last two times I've shot this, I used a different concealer, but now I'm onto this one. I'm going to take the Fenty Beauty Concealer in the shade Linen. And I just put a little bit on my finger. Just gonna pat it gently under my eye. I'm using the wrong finger actually. I usually like to use my ring finger, but I'm not tugging at all. I'm genuinely just patting it in. It's 
So that's kind of the under eyes covered and then I grabbed a little bit more. I have a red nose sometimes, so we gotta go in and cover that bad boy up. Wow, I've only been shooting this for 11 minutes and the light has honestly turned on six times. Take a little bit and cover those spots. These two blend so well together to me. Moving on swiftly, I like to go into blush next. I haven't cleaned this off yet because I literally shot this exact same video. Last night, I just forgot to turn the microphone on. I've got my little mixing palette here. I'm gonna take the Glossier Cloud Paint in the shade Beam. Tiny little dollop on there. It's every minute. On this little stipple brush, I think that's what you call it. Take a little bit of it and dab it out. And what I love about these brushes with a liquid blush is that it disperses the makeup so evenly. I notice when I use a beauty blender or different brushes, sometimes this doesn't happen so smoothly. I'm using my viewfinder as a mirror right now. This is gonna kill me. I think I might have used this in my last makeup tutorial I made. It's a staple. As of late, I haven't really been doing much to my eyebrows except for using this one product. If I was stranded on a desert island and I could only bring one makeup product, this product would be it. Drum roll, please. The Pacifica Stunning Brows Brow Gel in the shade Golden Brown. Let's do my eyebrows. Just go through. So it ends up looking something like this. Okay, and that's the eyebrows all done. This is the easiest makeup routine I've probably ever had. It's super low maintenance. We're gonna move on to the eyes and then we'll finish up with some powder and we're pretty much done. So for the eyeballs, I've currently been using just a little bit of brown eyeshadow just to define my eyes a little bit. I know it's probably not the proper technique, but again, I'm not going for a super made up look. I'm just going for something very natural and easy. Tartlet in Bloom palette. Smarty Pants, which is this one right here, on like a blending brush. Pop off the excess and just go in to the crease. And then I'll just bring a little bit of it underneath my eyeball as well. and then some mascara. Depending on the day, I will or will not curl my eyelashes. On a day like today, when I want it to look kind of natural, I'll just go in without any curler and use the wand to kind of curl my lashes. I'll show you how I do that. Charlotte Tilbury Full Fat Lashes in the shade Glossy Black. Ooh, little it. Twirl the brush up as I do it, so. Like this. And then I will grab my little secret tool. I use a contoured lash comb like this one and just comb through my lashes once or twice. This helps disperse the mascara evenly, get rid of any clumps, just kind of make it look more fluffy and natural. And then we will go into the other side. This is the level I like my eyelashes to be at on a day like today. Last. But certainly not least. Wow, this isn't working. Ah! I will take the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. Get a nice big fluffy brush like so. Dip her in. And just kind of... Oh, this brush smells really weird and I promise you it's clean. I don't like to be too matte. This is a great in-between. Okay, that is it for my everyday updated natural makeup tutorial. Again, I really do this every day. If I'm not shooting a video and gabbing the whole time, it'll typically be about like a 15 minute process. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up. Subscribe for the videos. I put videos out most Wednesdays. And I hope to see you guys soon. Bye.